So believe it or not, that is the actual stair that leads up to Claire's room. Um, you can see the room from the outside, but unfortunately we can't go up to the room and see it. So folks, today we are treasure hunting. Uh, we're gonna look for some red rubies. Yes, in Scotland the jewels lie absolutely everywhere. So we've come to Ely Beach and apparently there's red rubies lying on the beach and it's there just for you to pick up. It'll be interesting to see if we find any. You can see somebody's flying their drone up there. Uh, it's actually quite cold out here today. It's now autumn. Um, as I've said, we're now in Ely. Now Ely is on the Fife coast which is about an hour's drive up the coast from Edinburgh. So you have to cross the, the bridge and then come up the east coast. It's quite disorientating because behind me I can actually see Arthur's Seat and Bass Rock. So we're at the opposite end of Edinburgh in the estuary. And I'm going to show you now the beach where the red rubies are found. So that's Sean and Justine hunting in the gravel there. Apparently the red rubies are just lying among the gravel and in the rocks itself. So you can actually find um, red gemstones all over Scotland. Now on the Isle of Harris on the west coast of Scotland, you can actually find blue sapphires. But uh, unfortunately, you're not allowed to remove them from the island. I think there's a hefty fine if you get caught stealing those. But there's a map of Scotland and there's gemstones absolutely everywhere. In fact, there's even gold that you can find in the Scottish Highlands. So now we have to keep our eyes open for these little red gemstones. To be honest, I don't even know what I'm looking for. I've never seen one of these. So it'd be interesting to see if we find any. That's Sean in the distance there, trying to find some rubies, turning over the stones. Just got to look in the rocks to see if there's any sticking in the rocks itself. So have you found any yet, Justine? So is that a red ruby? Not too sure. So you can find these rubies inside these rocks, but I haven't seen any yet. Oh, there's some down here. See, you can yeah. see these little shiny Look. stones. There's quite a few in here. These look like little red rubies. I think I need to come around that side. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see. Yeah, four, five. There's quite a lot on this big rock. Not sure if you can see this, but. The little shiny stones you can see in there are little red rubies, but these are tiny ones. We're looking for a bigger one. Just keep doing so, shifting going there, Justine. Yep, there's a little red ruby. Oh, look at this one. We didn't bring a hammer or chisel, so. That's huge. There's another one in the rock. <laughs> that's that's okay. there's a bigger one. <laughs> and Sean's just gonna take the whole stone home. Do you think? Oh, there's lots in there. Yeah, Just team found a bit and she's dropped it. Again. Like you need to be here for hours searching. So as you can see, Justine has found a couple of tiny red rubies. And you find them in the sand. Oh. So folks, on our way home, we've decided to stop at uh, Falklands. Now, Outlander fans will know exactly where I am standing right now. Gotta watch, there's heavy traffic coming around here. Uh, since we started blogging about this place, it's become really busy. The fountain behind me, of course, is where Jamie's ghost, or presumed ghost, was standing, watching Claire and the guest house behind us. 
So we're just gonna make our way to a little coffee house, have a cup of coffee and then go home. So we're actually gonna have a cup of coffee inside the guest house that uh, Claire stayed in. Uh, that you can just see the window at the top left there. That was her room. So I'm busy staring out the window now onto the fountain there. Now you can't see it because of the bright light. I'm gonna just tap the camera there just so that you can see it. There's the fountain there. And that's where Jamie stood staring at Claire. So Justine, how did you find these little rulers? In the sand. So the actual trick is to be digging in the sand and pan for it like gold. Yep. Yes, apparently Sean find the first one. So he's pretty chuffed with himself. So why are these rubies there, Justine? I don't know. Isn't there something about a volcanic pipe? Mm. <laughs> Pop it, we find the other ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's two more. So believe it or not, that is the actual stair that leads up to Claire's room. Um, you can see the room from the outside, but unfortunately we can't go up to the room and see it. <laughs> so that's what I'm thinking, he's Claire. Uh -huh. Remember, if you're coming to Falkland as an Outlander tourist, uh, remember to pay the palace a visit. But unfortunately, it does shut in winter. But uh, it's well worth a visit if you're coming in summer.